Welcome to Soccer Smarts video on attacking corner kicks and defending corner kicks. What I'm going to give you is two real simple sets, one for attacking and one for defending. Be sure to look us up online at SoccerSmartTraining.com, the only online cognitive soccer instructors course. Enjoy the video. In this first formation, you'll see it's a defending formation. This is both zone and man-for-man. -man. We have five marking man-for-man -man players inside the yellow circle, one big tall zone player on top of the six, one player near post who covers just, he can step just outside the goal, and then one um, in front of him who will cover the short ball that's whipped in and can also go out for short corners. If you see on the edge of the box, we leave one player on the edge of the box who will actually leave with the other one who's playing zone. So it'll always be two for two if the team decides to take a short corner. You're never going to play two against one on the short corner. This is a nice way to have one player on the near post and one player playing zone in the middle with five players marking up man for man. So it is a combination of zone and man for man. This is our attacking set. It's a very simple set. You have five players in the box in that yellow circle looking to crash into the box. Each person will crash a separate zone, one person near post, three people going far post. Notice the outside wing back is going to be able to come in late and fast to receive this on the edge of the box so he could whip the ball far post on an in-swinger. Um, if that play is on, you could always use that. We have the player fronting the forward and another player behind him. It's always two against one. If they left two players up, we would leave three against two. And then the outside wing back on the other side is just looking to sit on the edge of the box. Anything that comes out, he'll put back in. You can no run a number of set plays and, and set corners from this same formation. You can make a set piece strictly for the near post, one for a top of the six, and one for the far post as well. You just have to adjust the spots that the players run to. But it's a good set attacking formation. I hope you enjoyed the uh, short video on attacking and defending corners. Um, it gets much more involved than that, but that is a, just a quick overview of two simple formations you can use. Be sure to look us up online for the online soccer instructors course, www.soccersmarttraining.com.